mentor today we are going to start our first chapter that is computer language so students before we start our chapter we have some lesson objectives describe a computer language types of computer language explain the importance of fourth and fifth generation language compiler assembler and interpreter so students our first topic is computer language language are means of communication through a language we people interact with each other in the same way to communicate with a computer we use a language that computer understand the language is understood both by the user and the machine just like every language like english hindi has its grammatical rules every computer language is bound by rules known as syntax of that language the user is bound by the syntax while communicating with the computer system so now students our next topic is type of computer languages so students in the computer system language we have some levels so students our first level is low level language the term low level means observe to the way in which a machine understand the low level language are a machine language this is the language in the form of zeros and first called binary numbers understand directly by the computer machine language was the first generation computer language a sample code in machine language is shown below so students here you can see the first generation language of computer for example in first generation language add 011814 is written as 000 0010010101 and etc machine language is faster in execution but at the same time it is very difficult to write and understand now students our second language is b assembly language an assembly language is a programming language that can be used to directly tell the computer what to do it is almost exactly like the machine code that a computer can understand except that it uses word in place of numbers a computer cannot really understand an assembly program directly however it can easily change the program into machine code by replacing the words of the program with the numbers that they stands for a program that does is called an assembler now students here you can see the picture of second generation computer language so students now we have some points of assembly language that is assembly language is not portable it means assembly language program return for one processor will not work on different processor assembly language program is not as fast as machine language because it has to be the first translated into machine that is binary language code now students we have let's know an interesting fact lady ada loveless a mathematician is regarded as the first computer programming she was the daughter of famous english poet lord byron now students our second language is high level language you know that low level language requires extensive knowledge of the hardware since it is machine dependent to overcome the limitation high level language has been developed with use normal english like easy to understand statements to solve any problem high level language are computer independent and programming also because it is quite easy and simple now students here you can see the third generation computer language now students we have given some high level languages that they are various high level languages are given below first is basic that is beginners all purpose symbolic instruction code it is widely used easy to learn journal purpose language mainly used in microcomputer in earlier days now we have cobel 
दैट इज कॉमन बिजनेस ओरिएंटेड लैंग्वेज और स्टैंडर्डाइज लैंग्वेज यूज फॉर कमर्शियल एप्लीकेशन नाउ वी हैव फोर टेन फॉर्मूला ट्रांसलेशन इट इज डेवलप्ड फॉर सॉल्विंग मैथमेटिकल एंड साइंटिफिक प्रॉब्लम वन ऑफ द मोस्ट पॉपुलर लैंग्वेज अमंग साइंटिफिक कम्युनिटी नाउ सी स्ट्रक्चर्ड प्रोग्राम लैंग्वेज यूज फॉर ऑल पर्पज लाइक साइंटिफिक एप्लीकेशन कमर्शियल एप्लीकेशन डेवलपिंग गेम्स एंड एक्सेट्रा नाउ वी हैव C++ plus plus that is a popular object oriented programming language used for general purpose. Now students, our next topic is fourth generation language. Most fourth generation languages are non procedural language. The programmers does not have to give the details of procedure in the program, but instead specify what is wanted. major fourth generation languages are used to get information from files and database they are query language which are used to answer queries or questions with data from a database now students here you can see the picture of fourth generation computer language now our next topic is fifth generation language fifth generation programming language will permit the user to give commands in a more conventional way these will use voice input devices rather than traditional keyboards or pointing devices fifth generation languages are used mainly in artificial intelligence research examples of fifth generation languages are prolog ops and mercury are the best known fifth generation language now students our next topic is translator the program specially designed to convert the instruction written in computer language into machine language so that it is executed by cpu directly called translator now students our next topic is compiler assembler and interpreter as you know that high level language is machine independent and assembly language though the machine dependent yet mnemonics that are being used to represent instruction are not directly understandable by machine hence to make the machine understandable instruction provided by both the languages compiler and assembler are required to convert these instruction into machine language the software that is set of programs that read a program written in high level language and translate it into an equivalent program in machine language is called a compiler the program written by the programmers in high level language is called source program and the program generated by the compiler after translation is called as object program now students here you can see the process of compiler language first we have source program then compiler then object program the software that reads a program written in assembly language and translate it into an equivalent program is machine language is called as assembler now students here you can see the process of assembly language so first we have source program then assembler then object program now students our next topic is interpreter an interpreter is a program that translate only one instruction of high level language source program into machine code at a time this code is executed and then next instruction is translated the object code produced by the interpret is not saved for future reference a compiled object code runs faster than an interpreted source code computer done just once for the entire program whereas interpreter is done for each instruction whenever the source program needs to be executed now students what we have learned in this chapter let's have a quick look on some key points every computer language is bound by rules known as syntax low level language is of two types machine language and assembly language 
machine language was the first generation computer language an assembly language is a programming language that can be used to directly tell the computer what to do now students this is it from this chapter soon we are going to learn many interesting chapters of computer till then revise what we learned today thank you